Good morning everyone and welcome to the Kids Church Talk. I'm excited that we are back together. I know you're not even back at school yet, but um, the year has started and we are very excited to get back into God's Word with you. That's right, I have my Bible here right in front of me and if you have your Bible with you, and you are wanting to follow along, we are just going to read one verse together, but we are going to talk about an entire chapter of the Bible together this morning. And the verse that we're going to read together is Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. That's right. The very first verse in the very first chapter of the very first book given to us by God. So, if you are there, let us read together. And this is what it says. It says, in the beginning... God created the heavens and the earth. Ah, huh, that's pretty simple. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God created everything. In fact, he made everything out of nothing. There was nothing before God created something. So many of us, we make projects for school or we create something in the garden with our moms and our dads. But actually, we can't make something that hasn't already been made. Uh, out of materials that don't exist. God can. God is so much bigger than us and God is so much more mighty than us and powerful that he can make things by speaking. He just says things and they come into being. And in fact, on the very first day of creation, because God took six days to create everything we've ever known, on the first day of creation, he created the heavens and the earth. Now, I really hope you can read that, and I hope it's not backwards. If it is, bear with me. It says the heavens and the earth. This is the first day of creation. God created the heavens and the earth. And you know what he said when he was finished? It is good. Because everything that God creates is good, and it's fantastic, and it's beautiful. Next week or the week after, we'll learn about what mankind did. But I'm not going to give any spoilers away. The first day was the heavens and the earth, and it was good. The second day comes, and God created the sky. I oh, really hope you can read that. My handwriting's terrible. I don't know how your handwriting is. Mine, as you can see, is bad. But God created the sky. He created this distance between the heavens and the earth, and there was atmosphere here on earth but there was no form the bible says the earth was just not as we understand it now there was not a place where all the water was and not a place where all the land was it was just earth it was just earth and on the second day he created the sky and you know what he said he said it is good the sky is good on the third day god created all the plants that we find on the earth, everything. And he gave them the incredible ability to scatter seeds and recreate themselves and reproduce in other places. And so God created all the plants on the third day. And you know what he said? Guess what he said? It is good because God created it. It is good on the third day, on the fourth day, what an amazing creation. All of this is absolutely incredible. But on the fourth day, God created the sun, the moon, and the stars. He created galaxies. And so he was looking at this earth that we live on, but he created the galaxies on the fourth day. He created the sun. He created the moon, which reflects the sun's rays at night. And he created all the stars for us to look at. And isn't it incredible to look up at the night sky and see all of those stars that God created? And know that God is such a good God because when he created all the sun, moon and stars, he said, it is good. It is good. So on the fourth day, he created the sun, moon and stars. On the fifth day, he created all the creatures that live in the sea. Not just fish, but crabs and, and whales and lobsters. Everything that lives in the ocean, he created he also created all the birds to live on the land or in the trees and fly around. He created all of these. And you know what he said? You already know what he said. He said, it is good. It is good. All of the creatures in the ocean and all of the birds of the air are good because God created them on the fifth 
day. The sixth day is a very, very important day. There were two types of creation that happened on the sixth day. The first one was all the land animals. I don't know if you can read that very nicely. All the land animals were created. So, buffalo, lion, platypus, duck, everything was created by God on the sixth day that roams on the land. But you know what else was created? Human beings, mankind, Adam and Eve, created on the sixth day. And you know what God says about us as human beings, part of his creation, because we're a part of his creation. And he said that we are good. He said that we, when we were created and we were in perfect relationship with him, that we were good. He said that we are going to reflect his image. We are going to live for him and live like him, but not be God. We are going to reflect his image. We're created in his image. Nothing else that God created in this world is created in his image except human beings, man and woman. And the first two were Adam and Eve. And God said, it was good. Now, God did take a week to create everything. But the first six days, he actually worked and he created things. Not like he got tired. I can't imagine God ever getting tired. I mean, he just spoke things, spoke words, and creation happened out of nothing. But on the seventh day, God rested. Not that God needed to rest. Not at all. God definitely doesn't need to rest. I need to rest. Um, Brett needs to rest. Basil needs to rest. Your mom and dad need to rest. But God definitely does not need to rest. But he created this day for us so that we may rest. And that we can remember as we go through the weeks and as we get to the seventh day. A seventh day. We remember that God created everything and it was good and we were his last creation. We were created in his image. We're made to reflect who God is to the rest of the world. Everything was good. Absolutely everything. God created everything and it was good. What an incredible way to start the year remembering that God is the creator of everything that we can look to him and say lord i don't know why this is happening and i don't know why this is going on but i know that you created everything so you must be in control of everything and i know you're in control of everything and so we can turn to him and we can thank him for all the incredible things we have in this world and we can also turn to him when we don't know what is happening so genesis chapter one we read about how god creates everything for us and how we are meant to be his image. So as you look at the days that God used to create everything, I hope you see how much he loves you. God created mankind to be his image, image bearers and to reflect him. And God came and saved us from ourselves in Jesus Christ. So God loves you and God loves all of his creation. And God calls us to remember that he created everything. And God also reminds us to rest from time to time.